when you sigh. Never All right, Mother LeBron, once again, to speak, everyone. I want to get to speak. <laughs> I just... Thank you guys all so much for coming. It, it means the world to me. You know what, we're all family this weekend, right guys? Yeah. I just wanna say I'm so proud of you both and I'm so happy that I'm here and I, and I know that your father is watching down. You know it. Because you're perfect. We can all toast to him. And to the happy couple, Congratulations, baby. I love you both so much. <laughs> now, Frank, as is customary, I think that you should give a speech. Father the groom. Right, guys? Just say, say what's on your mind. No, 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 no. Say what's on your mind. Just say the first thing that comes to no, your mind. No, you're not right there. Oh, come, oh, come on. on. Speech, speech, on your speech, speech, day. speech, 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 speech. for giving speeches. Uh, uh, I got AIDS from a gay drifter. <laughs> Rachel and Gregory, the hey, way Dad. you guys look at each other, I think it's beautiful. I think we can all agree on Dad. that. And uh, it's going to be a long, happy life together. It'll be fine. It'll be good. It's going to be happy marriage. Dad. What? The way you guys look at each other and think it's wonderful, I'm so yeah. happy you're getting married. Yeah, bef before that. I'm not one for making speeches. After that so. one. I got AIDS from a gay drifter. I was at a carousel party, uh, dressed as a pony with a bunch of drifters. And uh, drifter shot a bunch of his semen on the table. I chopped it up like it was cocaine, and I did it like it was cocaine. It had AIDS in it, now I got AIDS in me. You asked me to give a speech. You remember that? You remember when she asked me to give a speech? She's like, oh, Frank, why don't you say what's on the top of your mind? You know what's on the top of my mind? I got AIDS. Frank's got AIDS. Second thing that's going on in my brain? Lost all the family's money. Oh, it's actually kind of a relief. I lost the whole family's money betting on men fighting other men to the death. There was this one time, uh, it was your fourth birthday. I remember because I wasn't there. I watched a man named Big N-Word Joe. Sorry, Clara. Beat a man named Gargantuan to death in a graveyard. He dug up a tombstone and he just fucking smashed his head in. A group of people standing around watching it, right? I remember because it was weird because I was like, I didn't know that brains could be so fucking pink. You know, his brains were all smashed up in the grass like someone had thrown a bunch of peeps in a fucking microwave. And his daughter was there, smiling from ear to ear, and I go up to her, hey, little Margarita. Why are you smiling? Your dad's a fucking human doorstop, right? And she's like, I won $2,000 because I bet against him in a fight. That's the hardest three-year-old I've ever met. So that's what I think about. That's what I think about when we're all standing around in a circle like a bunch of fucking assholes talking about how old daddy here is going to pay for this rehearsal dinner, even though daddy doesn't have a goddamn dime to his name. <clears throat> you asked me to give a speech. And you say, hey, Frank, why don't you talk off the top of your mind when the top of my mind is covered in a four inches of a hot soup of vivid fucking nightmares? Your mother and I stole you from a richer family. You could have had a better life. I once watched a 13-year-old Mongolian girl eat a live bat. And she died from it because it was alive. And it crawled down, slid open her duodenum, which is your human shit river. All that pre-shit got up in her torso. She died of septic shock. And I laughed and I cheered about it because I made 150 bucks. Which is not a lot for a human life. Let's get the spotlight off from me. And move it on to Rachel and Gregory. You're going to have a good life together. It's going to be a good wedding. Everyone's going to dance it up. You know, enjoy themselves. You know. We somebody else to say something. This speech must end. These Taiwanese shrimp are gonna come out and they're gonna blow your fucking mind. You'll see. You'll forget all about this fucking speech.
All right, everybody. I hope everyone's having a great time. Wonderful. Uh, so the reservation ends at 10.